All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining my lightning talk about Falco. I'll be talking about uh, achieving balance between security and performance uh, in our software. So, first of all, uh, some, uh, some of you here that have met are uh, CNCF maintainers, uh, so you have probably heard of Falco. But in general, what it is, in a couple of words, uh, it's uh, an open source uh, security solution for threat detection. So we do runtime threat detection for your clusters, hosts, and Kubernetes. And very importantly, uh, Falco is now actually used by a lot of people in the community, a lot of people that use CNCF project. Uh, and in fact, uh, this year, Falco became a CNCF graduated project. So if you have never used Falco, kind of what does it look like? It's, it's a magic box. You put some rules inside that magic box uh, that is exactly what you want to be alerted about. So for example, here we have a rule for a terminal sh shell in a container. So I want to understand uh, if that uh, specific thing spawns in my cluster. And then I put the rule, and of course you can download our pre-made rules uh, if you don't want to write your own, put it in the magic box uh, and outcome alerts whenever these things happen. But uh, you don't just want to see a blank screen. But yeah, now it's not a black screen. So what is going to happen uh, is that uh, the Falco doesn't just give you an alert. It basically tells you a lot of context around the alert. So if you have our shell, we can know ev everything about the container. We know about Kubernetes, namespace, uh, process ancestors, uh, really a lot of things. You have hundreds of fields to choose from to, to have your alerts. But what if you're a maintainer? If you're a maintainer, if you're a contributor, which I hope uh, some people will want to be, uh, you see Falco a little bit differently. So first of all, there's this thing that's called a kernel module or an eBPF probe. This is the part that the user doesn't really want. I don't want to care about that, but it's there in order to take those events from the kernel and then uh, send them to the user space agent, which is actually able to compute the rules uh, and enrich them with a lot of user space data, Kubernetes, uh, and many other things. This is a very nice uh, and flexible and extensible architecture. But uh, of course, uh, uh, as a maintainer, you will see that uh, this duality between kernel and user space uh, is something that you have to really be uh, to care about, and sometimes as a user as well. So, Imagine if you were a Falcon maintainer or contributor for a day. What is it, and now you're going around KubeCon. What is it that people will be asking you? What, what, uh, will, uh, what are the questions that I get and uh, my uh, fellow maintainers get? So, of course, uh, a lot of people want more detections, and that's, uh, that's uh, really great. Uh, we want to detect more things. For example, there's a new CVE of the day, and we want to be able to detect when that CV is trying to be exploited by a malicious actor. So we, of course, we want that. Or we might uh, have someone that uh, is asking about the performance. There's uh, uh, systems that maintain and that uh, operate uh, with millions of events per second, and Falco needs to keep up. Or some people have troubles installing it because you know we don't really want a kernel model in EBPF Core because, because they are hard to install. But of course we we use them because that's a way to get our data. And if you ever tried installing something like VMware, you know that it's not that easy to install. And we want uh, the Falco experience to be the best. And also there's that annoying security person that comes and say, "Hey, the project is written in C++. Is it secure? And why?" I love that person because it's me. Uh, and of course, we want to balance everything. We want to have everything. And so we want to research and develop to get all of these things in Falco. How do we do it? So one thing is uh, we know that the more we detect uh, and uh, the slower we are at detections. Of course, we know that because uh, uh, if, if we put more features, uh, we, we might have a problem with the balance of the performance. So what do we do to address that? We, do, uh, we gave the, our users, especially our power users, uh, a lot of knobs to adjust the performance, uh, a lot of metric supporting, and uh, of course, we made Falco as smart as possible when it comes uh, the time to uh, operate uh, between the interface uh, between kernel and user space, and also, uh, we optimize, we try, and since, day, since the first day, Falco was optimized at the system call level, pretty much, at the, at the assembly level. We don't write assembly because we support four architectures, but we try to be smart with our C++. Not architectural smart, but more optimization smart. And also, installing a, a kernel module, as I mentioned, uh, it's, it's a hard thing to do. And uh, 
how we want to be compatible. We have compatibility with x86, with ARM, with S390X, uh, and we can get more architectures, and we want to be compatible with them. And we want to also be secure. So the thing that we do is, like, I don't think there is an easy way around it, but we do have massive test matrices that basically uh, test uh, hundreds of different combinations of kernels, operating system, distributions, uh, you name it, uh, to make sure that Falco actually installs, uh, Falco works, uh, and Falco gathers events from, uh, from, those, uh, uh, from those systems. And, of course, uh, we have uh, uh, modern technologies such as QRE BPF that you can choose to use, and you probably want if you have a very new kernel, but we are also compatible with something like 2.6. And also, we take a page out of the security engineer book by, using, uh, by having that security person that forces to uh, its fellow maintainer and contributors a lot of security checking tools and is annoying about all of that. That person is still me. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, if you, um, anyways, uh, that's what it's like to, to work on Falco. I think it's fun, and some people agree. And basically, you have to balance all these things. We want everything. We want a lot of detections. We want uh, excellent performance, uh, and uh, and we try every day, and we work towards it, and we do a lot of development uh, to get there. Uh, of course, uh, uh, would you want to be a Falco maintainer? I don't know, but you can be very easily a Falco contributor. Uh, we are around, uh, there's uh, quite a few of us uh, Falco maintainers around here. As, um, as we mentioned before, there's of course a kiosk that you can visit, a maintainer track, uh, and uh, you can find uh, all the reference there, including a, a cool playground that you can use uh, play.falco.org uh, even with your phone. Thank you so much.